Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week, get ready with me, so shop my stash, try on new makeup, declutter videos occasionally. But if it's beauty or makeup related, you best believe that I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell, of course, from the title of the video, today we're gonna talk about beauty brands that I keep giving us the same old same old bs <laughs> uh, i'm pretty sure it was an ours collection maybe another brand but i decided to jot down the brands that i feel have just been giving us the same old same old and we're kind of tired of it so we're going to talk about that apply the makeup products from the brands that i will be talking about and yeah if that sounds like a video you would like to see then just go ahead and keep on watching All right, face is nice and primed. I went in to my Wet n Wild Primer Serum. It's been a minute since I've used this and I actually do really enjoy this. It hydrates my skin before going in with makeup so well. I also went in to the Hourglass, uh, I think Vanish Primer. It's more of a mattifying primer for my T-zone and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter for perimeters of my face. Okay, so the first brand we're gonna talk about is Dior. Uh, gosh, they reformulated their foundations. They gave us this new um, backstage line concealer, but I feel like after that, they've kind of been doing the same thing over and over, especially when it comes to the quince, the lipsticks, their blushes. I just feel like by the way, this is um, the matte one. Transfer proof 24 hour high perfection uh, foundation. It has SPF 15 and this is the shade 3N. It's a tiny bit on the dark side for me. It dries very fast, keep that in mind. I am going to mix my Surratt dew drops into it um, because I want a tiny bit of more glow. Yeah, so I feel like when it comes to the super bougie luxury brands, Dior has kind of been stagnant as far as me being interested in the brand. And I mainly mean from their special edition collections, the ones where they come out with a specific theme and then they give us usually like two quints maybe something else like a blush or oh gosh they haven't given us a highlighter i don't think yeah so with dior i just i haven't been super interested the only interesting thing that they have recently given us has been that um bronzer slash blusher kind of like the Garland terracotta light bronzer that they gave a couple of years ago. That is the only thing that I've been interested in when it comes to Dior, but I feel like when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes, their blushes and everything, it's just kind of all becoming the same thing over and over. They just changed the packaging or they changed the embossment on the pans. Like, they, you need to give us more. For the prices you're charging, you need to give us a tiny bit more than what you're giving us, right? Okay, I am going to also jump into some Dior concealers. This is the Forever Skin Correct in 1.5N. I've definitely used a decent amount of this product. This one's a tiny bit too light, so I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of this Dior Backstage. Flash Perfect Concealer in 2N. I don't really enjoy this one. It's a tiny bit too drying for my under eyes, but hopefully I can make it work today. This one is a beautiful concealer. I haven't really purchased much from Dior. I don't feel like I have. Um, I feel like Chanel has been on the top of the list more than Dior has, which I feel like maybe two years ago it was the opposite. Dior was a little bit more in my favor than Chanel was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would love to know, of course, your thoughts and if you agree with what I'm saying. Now, be nice. I'm not an expert when it comes to makeup brands. I just go by what I purchase, what I see. So don't come after me if I say something wrong, okay? This is just giving my thoughts and opinions. Um, this seemed like a very good idea for a video and that's why 
I'm filming it, so hopefully you enjoy it. All right, now we're going to jump in to some cream products. And the next brand I feel that will probably not come to a surprise, and that is Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna jump into this Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Light. Look, Charlotte Tilbury has been around for quite some time. When I first got into makeup, I didn't even know who Charlotte Tilbury was. <laughs> I will say that her products were great. They are nice staple items that when you find a favorite, you will always have access to getting it, right? I just feel like her launches have been so boring. We haven't gotten a big palette from her. Gosh, how long has it been? Oh, I didn't even tell you. So for the foundation, I went into the BK Beauty 106. For the concealer, I went into the BK Beauty 110, and then this is the BK Beauty 111. It's been a minute since she's given us a big palette. A 12 pan, is that what it, yeah. I think it's been two plus years. She's been giving us lipsticks. I feel like she always gives us lipsticks. She always gives us lip liners, those face palettes that like almost nothing changes, but here she is re-releasing. I just feel like her launches have been so boring. I remember two years ago being excited when Charlotte Tilbury was going to launch something and now, and I just remembered exactly what prompted me to come up with this idea for the video. Her latest collection that she's dropping and I'll go ahead and put a picture of it here because it looks like every other collection she has given us in the past two years. And it's, it's boring. It's boring to me. She keeps giving us the same products that she already has and basically changing the packaging and maybe changing the shade slightly different to Pillow Talk. Um, I know the recent launch of the lipsticks and the lip liners, some people were excited and I did purchase a lipstick and a lip liner from that collection, but other than it being new shades, and I don't know how new or how different they are really to what she already has in the line, that's it, you know? I don't know, I just feel like she is leaving us wanting more and we haven't gotten it in over two years. Okay, I'm gonna jump in to this Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. This was a re-release. She had already released this formula. I don't know what happened, and then they went away, and then she brought them back and called it a new launch. Now, in no shape or form is this me talking shit about Charlotte Tilbury, okay? This is me letting you all know that I adore and love the brand, and I just kind of want a tiny bit more. There is nothing wrong with saying that. This is the Nicola Rose and BK Beauty in 1.7. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury has not given her audience kind of what we want from her. Um, I know I've heard a couple of people mention that they're kind of bored with what she keeps giving us. And I totally understand because I feel the same way. I miss being excited for Charlotte Tilbury launches, you know? And I just haven't for the past two years. Nicely, of course, let me know if you agree or disagree, but I wish that she would just get a new game plan, maybe get some new people on her team, you know? <laughs> just give us something exciting, you know? And it doesn't have to be a big, huge collection. It could just be one item. I don't know. Tell, tell me, tell me, do you agree? Do you disagree? <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna jump into some powder and the next brand that I mentioned is gonna be no shocker at all for any of you, I don't think. And that is NARS. <laughs> I do feel like NARS is a fabulous, well-rounded brand. I feel like 90, maybe 95% of the products have a super high success rate as far as selling and whatnot. A lot of their products have become super solid, holy girl staples for a lot of people for many years. But when it comes to other areas like the Laguna Beach line, which includes the blushes, um, the bronzers, and their eyeshadow palettes, they keep giving us the same old, same old. Like, literally. Is that same old, same old good? Yes, it is, because I think I have three 
um, NARS eyeshadow palettes and every time I use them my eyeshadow look is absolutely fabulous I get so many compliments but like can you give us something different and I mean they tried what was it the stargaze palette maybe where they gave us that pretty lilac like purple shade but they just put one one different shade in there a pop of color and that was it I don't know I think they just need, maybe need to try a tiny bit harder. I don't know if maybe they think if they change things up too much, people won't know that they're NARS because they're just known for what they're known for. And maybe that's why they don't change. I figured it does not hurt to make a video like this and just ask and see if anyone else is feeling the same way that I am and see if we can all just kind of have a good, nice polite conversation in the comments down below i don't know i'm i guess i'm kind of just expecting more from these brands and i keep getting a tiny bit disappointed when i keep just seeing the same thing over and over okay i am going to jump into my two charlotte tilbury powders this is the airbrush brightening flawless finish powder and translucent and then i have a mini of her original and fair light so i think i'm just gonna mix this one and the translucent because i think when i use the translucent on its own for my face it can look a tiny bit too light so i'm just gonna mix and i'm gonna use the bk beauty 104 of course i would love to know any thoughts and opinions that you have about everything that I'm saying in this video. I just remember seeing that new Charlotte collection and thinking, can we get something different? <laughs> Please? I mean, the possibilities are endless, you know? All of the brands that I'm talking about, I absolutely adore and I'm pretty sure every single item I have from each brand, I absolutely love. So obviously it's not the quality of the brand. It's what they keep giving us that I'm kind of like, give us more, you know? I think I only have two more brands to talk about. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna use one of the NARS eyeshadow palettes that I do have, and I'll probably speed through that so that this video is not super long. And then we'll finish off with the other two brands that I wanna talk about. NARS Eye Base, BK Beauty, Nicola Rose, and 1-3. BK Beauty 202. BK Beauty 201. Next glitter glue. BK Beauty 204. BK Beauty 207. Okay, eyes are finished. I did go in to some mascara. Um, I do have a little bit of mascara residue, but I'm trying to wait for it to dry before I flick it off. I went into the Kali Ray to be mascara. For my eyebrows, I went in to the Gucci brow pencil and the Make Beauty brow gel. Okay, and the second to last brand I'll be talking about today is Tom Ford. Now, they're going through something because the stick foundation as of right now is currently discontinued. I've heard three different rumors. It's being reformulated. They're just repackaging it or they're just getting rid of it. I don't know which one is true. <laughs> they just provided us with a shade and illuminate primer that kind of goes with the shade and illuminate foundation that they came out, what was that, two years ago? And I have seen some posts of a new foundation coming. Uh, I think soft, airy, matte. It's the vibe from the description that I was getting. So when it comes to Tom Ford, I'm specifically talking about the quads, the eyeshadow palettes. Um, we are going to use this bronzer from Tom Ford today. It's the Glow Bronzer, and I have it in the shade 02 Terra. Look, everything I do own from Tom Ford, which is not a lot, I do really enjoy. 
I don't have a blush from them because $90 <laughs> for a blush. I don't know, man. I paid $55. <laughs> for the Guerlain ones and that was pushing it. 90, that's just, I have seen them on sale and I think with the discount $70, that's still a lot of moolah for a freaking blush. So I've kind of held off on buying a blush from them. Um, this bronzer I absolutely love. I think it is beautiful. I think maybe they should focus on expanding shade ranges on some of the items that they do already have in the line unless they're going through something and they're just revamping everything. I don't know, but I feel like when it comes to their quads, they just keep giving us the same thing over and over. And anytime people do get excited because we're getting something different and all they really did was give us one pop of color. When I do watch the reviews, um, I hear that. I hear that, you know what? This is pretty much the same thing they've been giving us. They just decided to add this pop of color and that's why we think, oh, this is something new and inventive from Tom Ford when it, in reality kind of isn't. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have a love-hate relationship when it comes to Tom Ford. Yeah, so Tom Ford made this list and I think with good reason. Let me know if you agree or disagree, but I, I kind of want more from them. I truly do. All right, before I move on to the last and final brand that I'll be talking about in this video, let me tell you first real quick the two palettes that I used for my eyes. This is the Stargaze palette from the, I forget which collection, um, but I do enjoy this. Like I said, every time I use NARS eyeshadows, my eye look is absolutely stunning. They just keep giving us the same thing. And then this little limited edition one, it's the Dolce Vida Unwrapped Mini Eyeshadow Palette. Cute little palette, great for traveling, creep. Very pretty eye looks with that little palette. And then for the bronzer brush, I went in to the tapered contour brush from the Samantha and Sigma collaboration. Okay, last but certainly not least, and I feel like a lot of you are going to agree with this. I feel like we've been feeling like this about this brand for at least two years. And that is Pat McGrath. <laughs> this is the Divine Blush Bronze and Glow Trio in Nirvana in Bloom. And I'm gonna jump in to the blush and highlighter. This is the Nikki and BK Beauty N17. I'm gonna use the dark side of this brush. I understand Pat McGrath, she's obviously popular in the makeup industry. She does makeup for one way. She does makeup for celebrity artists when they have a special red carpet event. So obviously she's known because she's good, right? But I definitely feel like she hasn't been projecting that onto her brand. Therefore, we're not getting the creativity that I know she has in her launches. I don't think people have been excited about anything that Pat McGrath has launched since her bronzers. That's how I feel. Same color stories over and over with the pink and not, not changing it up, you know? Being as exciting as like her Mothership 1 or her Mothership 3 were, you know? I don't know. I just feel like we just keep getting the same thing over and over, just changing up packaging. Also relaunching and changing the packaging and calling it a whole new collection. When we know we've seen that, we know it's an older product, they just changed the packaging. I just feel like something's going on and needs to be fixed. I know a lot of you agreed. Uh, I also know some of you did not and that's okay. Let me know your thoughts about Pat McGrath, even though I kind of already know what you're gonna tell me. All right, I'm gonna jump in to the highlighter from this palette. This one, um, I think it came in three, yeah, three colorways. There was a light, this one, which is a medium, and then one for like your darker skin tones. Uh, all three of these shades work for me. So those are the makeup brands <laughs> that I feel 
just keep giving us the same thing over and over. I'm sure there are brands that you feel probably needed to be on this list that I didn't include. I would love to know what those brands are. Some of you might say Chanel and I can totally understand why you would say that, but um, the only reason I didn't include Chanel in this list is because I've actually been excited about their launches recently and for Dior, I have not. So that's why I chose to put Dior on this list instead of Chanel. I hope that makes sense. Of course, as always, I would love your thoughts and opinions. Be nice in the comments. I'm not an expert. These are just, like I said, my thoughts and opinions. And it's okay if you don't agree. It's okay if you don't agree at all with what I have to say about these brands. That is perfectly okay if we all thought the same. How boring would this world be, you know? So yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know. Let's talk and have some conversations. All right, my lovelies, I am done. Here's what the makeup looks like, which looks beautiful if I do say so myself. I'm a little bit more glam than I normally go for, but once in a while, why not, right? As you can see, all of the makeup brands that I mentioned, I mean, look at this face. The makeup is absolutely beautiful. I just kind of wish we got something different from them. That's all. I'm not talking crap about the brand itself. For the lips, before I forget to tell you, I went in to the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Hot Gossip and the Dior Addict Lip Tint in Natural Tea. I've been loving this combo. It's such a beautiful and pretty combo. Um, and that lip tint from Dior is actually pretty good. I haven't heard anyone talk about it since they launched. Okay, well again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly all does mean the world to me. So with that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.